What's up, Gromies, and welcome back to the channel. This is the Florganics Organics channel, where we grow with organics. Now, in this update, I want to start this off by saying thank you guys for all the positive blessings and wishes for my father-in-law passing. I do really appreciate that, guys, so give him a thumbs up for this video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you so much, again, from the bottom of my heart for all those blessings. I do appreciate it. Now, in this update, um, it's been a while since I had something up for you guys, and it was just because I had to get through all that. Life does take place. Um, so we let a lot of our uh, mothers get a little bit bigger than we normally would um, so we could get some sufficient cuts from them. And the big thing here is that we wanted to, you know, get this new new batch of cocoa really just alive. Um, as you know, guys, when you buy cocoa and it's brand new, it's just really, it's really inert. You know, there's nothing to it. So I really want to make, you know, this cocoa um, thrive just like my last run of cocoa did um, that I was, had, you know, using for about a year and a half. That batch was amazing and it was just getting better and better over time. So as you can see, since the last update, they have gotten huge. Now in this tent, starting from left to right in the first, uh, the left-hand side of the first three, we have our musky manatees. Then in the center here, next, next lane, we have two jelly breaths and we also have a deluxe slurbet. Then to the right, we have our peanut butter, uh, peanut butter souffle in the back from Starfire Genetics, along with uh, seven other Bapple Fritz over there as well. As far as temperature goes, um, we've been running about 82 to 84 degrees Fahrenheit with 65 to 70% humidity, um, give or take a little bit, depending upon, you know, the, the, the outside temperature parameters and things like that. Just this new lung room has been a little bit hard to control. Um, now, I've been using the Mars Hydro 6-inch combo fan filter kit um, that they provided to us from the last grow to keep this room uh, running great and also to keep the tent's uh, environment um, sufficient and where I want it and in check, most importantly. This fan runs at 408 CFM. It comes with a digital controller. I absolutely love that digital controller. Being able to set the parameters here on this controller really make a big deal if you're trying to grow some dank. Number one, Gromies, if you're trying to grow the dankest flowers that you possibly can, you got to have your environment in check. I do not care how good your light is. I do not care, you know, what genetics you're running. Yeah, you'll, you'll see some semi-dank. If you got the, you know, the genetics right and the environment kind of wonky, but if you dial that environment in and you've got good genetics, I don't care what light you've got, you'll still get some dank, get a good light, you'll have even more dank weed. So get that environment in check, pick you guys up a, f a fan kit, the link will be in the description below. If you have any questions about it, setting the parameters, comment below, I'll be more than happy to help you guys out with those. And as far as the new nutrients go, we've got them. BioBiz. So I decided to go with BioBiz for one main reason. Um, I, it's based out of Holland, uh, somewhere in the Netherlands, I believe. Anything that comes from that direction typically is going to be a very high standard of quality. So I decided to go with them. I see a lot of fellow growers using them on Instagram that I like to follow. Um, and also, we're going to still use our Terp Tea. So as you can see, we still have our Grow Bloom and the Terp Tea Booster. But we're going to add in these BioBiz nutrients to really get these ladies a kick going instead of the Roots Organic liquids that we were adding in additionally with the Terp Teas. So going to give them a run. So far, so good. I will say this. They are strong. Do not go off of the, the higher end of the label right away. You're going to end up burning your ladies. Now, as you can see, here we are a week later from the, from the last video. Everything has been defoliated. We have taken all of our clones from all of our Bapple Fritz. We have gotten all of our clones from our Jelly Breath and Deluxe Slurbet that we want. Same with Musky Manatee. We got our clones from her. Then we got our trellis net set up. So as you can see, a few of these plants are about six to eight inches from that trellis net, which is just fine. Um, this is the first run with these Bapple Fritz. They did get a lot bigger than I normally would let them go in a pheno hunt. Um, but given the circumstances and the time, I figured why not? So fingers crossed, we have no fucking herms. We do not want any herms pollinating our crop. So let's hope that all of these are good, solid, and stable genetics from Starfire. I'm praying that they are. I've heard great things about them. So I don't see why these would be any different. Um, I will say this. There's a couple of phenos there in them Bapple Fritz that just dink. Um, defoliating them, they... 
they, too, they just, they just stink. That's the best way to put it. You know, some strains and some, some, you know, phenos are different. Absolutely. Um, some smell, some don't, but these things do, they smell like they're in flower and they're in veg. Haven't flipped them to 12, 12 yet. That'll be here in the next couple of days. We'll be flipping this medic grow fold eight over to 12, 12, letting these ladies start to flower. Um, now, as far as the percentage goes, we've been running her at about 60% lately. Um, so they're not getting too much juice, but as soon as they do go over to 12, 12, we're going to crank it up for the first week to 80%, then into weeks two through six, a hundred percent blasting these ladies out. Um, but again, I do want to say thank you guys for all the wishes in regards to my father-in-law passing. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get this channel up to about uh, you know a thousand subscribers. I'll throw out some seeds. I've got some new genetics on the way, so don't miss out on that in the next video. Hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up, Gromies. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed and smoke a fat one.